In this video, I'm going to review the Montvale website, stack it again the competition, and hopefully inspire you to create better website designs and make more money by setting higher quality websites. So if you want to know whether this website passes my truly professional website test assessment, make sure you watch until the end when I will reveal its grade and income potential. Hello, I'm your host Casino. I'm the Digital Alchemist and in this new series, the goal here is not to focus on flashy websites that require an army of designers and developers to build. Nope. But instead, the idea is to focus on one website design that could be created by one single person or by a very small team. And this in order to inspire you and help you assess the quality and potential income of a website. The goal here is to help you become a better web designer in the real world and make more money creating websites for a living. So today I'm going to focus on the Montvale website. So I found this website by going through the awards website nominees and it's this one right here. And just so we're on the same page, here is how I'm going to proceed. I will assess this website over four topics. First impressions, identity, content and technical. Each topic will be noted on five points and the final assessment will be noted on 20 points. Now, please know that this is my subjective assessment and not the universal truth, but I've been creating websites for a living for many years and I have quite some experience doing that. So let's start with the first impressions that can be broken down into desktop, mobile, tablet, and versus the competition. What we want to take a look at now is the first impression when you see this. So for me here on the desktop version, First of all, I think it's really clean, but I don't get this wow effect. And that's a bit sad in my opinion, because the rest of the website is really, really worth it. So it's not bad, but like I said, I don't get the wow effect. Now, when I start scrolling down, I do get this wow effect. Now, in case you don't know, this really looks like the Apple website techniques. When you go onto Apple, maybe I'll show you this as an overlay. When you go on the Apple website, they got this technique where it's a mix between uh, images and a video. And actually when you start scrolling, as you can see, there's a shrink effect here. Sometimes it's a grow effect. So I think it's quite interesting. And the same goes for the mobile version. Now, when you take a look at the mobile version, same thing, it looks really clean, really professional, but you don't get this wow effect. So let's say that you're browsing a lot of different websites. You know, this one just really looks like uh, an average website. Now, we still get this nice effect here, but it's way smaller, so it doesn't have the same impact. And for the rest, like I said, it, it looks really clean. I like the video here. We'll talk about that later. But all in all, the mobile version is good. Okay, and last but not least, nothing different here. It still looks good, but because it's a tablet, it's bigger, so the image has more impact. That effect has more impact. But if you just stick here, it looks like just an average website. But don't be fooled because this website has a few hidden gems, especially when you stack it against the competition. Now, this really looks like an aggression to me. I don't know if you can see me. I'm here at the bottom of the screen. Hey, I'm here. Um, this screams like everything is important and it looks really, really bad. I, I really feel like there's an aggression going on. Like, I don't know what's important on this page. Everything screams, look at me. Okay, now let's look at this. Same thing, it doesn't really look like it's special. It looks very generic. Now, that's one of the big competitors. And like I said, same thing. Everything looks important. It doesn't really look fine-tuned and custom. Now, on the other hand, some of the other competitors are doing it slightly better. Now, it's still not like the best thing in the world, but I really think the quality of the picture is way better when you compare it to this. And I'm talking about the fine grain, you know, it looks really neat on this website, whereas here it's a bit blurry. So in my opinion, they compress the image a little bit too much. Now, if you take a look at this one, this is what I'm talking about. Here we see people, we see an experience, and that's what's really important because people are not just gonna buy a barbecue, especially not a barbecue that costs two grand or three grand just because they wanna eat meat. Because if that's the case, you just go and take away some food or you're just gonna, I don't know, cook it at home. You want a barbecue because you want to invite people, you want the experience. And I really love this here, even though the quality of the video, and I'm not talking about the footage, the footage looks really good. I'm talking about the quality like HD or 4K. I think they compress it too much also, but at least here we see people having fun and it makes me want to embrace that experience. And that's what I would get a barbecue, especially a high-end barbecue. So for all these reasons, for the first impressions, I'm going to give it a grade of 3.5 out of 5. 
Okay, next let's move on to the identity, which can be broken down into the logo, the colors, the fonts, and the style versus the target. Okay, so first about the logo. Well, I really like this logo. It's typographic, it's simple, but it's a short word and the font looks good. So you don't always have to have a logo with a image that's showing the barbecue. Like for example, this one here, Barbecue & Co has an image here and because I'm maximizing and I have a huge screen, I can see that it's an adult with a kid and a barbecue. But let's face it, if you look at this logo at this size, you don't even know what it is. So if it's really obvious or you can come up with something really creative, then fine. But otherwise, just don't bother. Make a nice logo. A typographic logo is going to be great. Okay, next let's talk about the colors. So this is almost a monochromatic palette because as you can see, we only see that orange color everywhere. But then we have this dark color here and let me scroll all the way to the bottom. Sorry, I went really fast. We got this color here. So basically these are the two main colors that you see on this website. And I think it works really well with one caveat. I think that we'll see that later before the call to actions could have been better, we could have had one more color because you don't really see the call to action standing out. But for the rest, I think it works really well. And instead of having just that red shade that a lot of those brands selling barbecues are going to use, like black and red, at least here we got this orange color that reminds me of the sunset vibe when you wanna have that experience of a barbecue with friends and family in the summertime. And this really sells the experience in my opinion. Next, if you know anything about my channel, you know that I always recommend a maximum of three fonts. Two is even better, but you know, as long as you don't go above three, it should be fine. So here we got this font called Adio or Adio in French. Then we got uh, Bagnard. And then if I scroll down, let me scroll. Then we have oh, this one here. So it's new all grotesque. So we got our three fonts. And it works quite well, except for, in my opinion, the Adieu font, this one here, because it looks more like a font for a video game or something high tech than for, you know, something really like a high end, really traditional, which is kind of the vibe that, you know, uh, transpires from the whole design here. Okay, next, let's talk about the style versus the target. Like I was saying, these are expensive barbecues, two or three grand. So the people are going to buy this. You can kind of think that they will want something upscale. And in my opinion, it works really well. If you look at the industrial design of the barbecue itself, it looks kind of old style, but with modern technology. So that works really well. And in my opinion, the design really reflects that except for that phone that I talked about previously. So for all these reasons, for the identity, I'm going to give it four points out of five. Okay, next, let's move on to the content topic, which can be broken down into navigation, quantity, quality, and funnel. Okay, so for navigation, it's always recommended to have a maximum of seven elements. Why? Because short-term memory doesn't like anything above seven elements. Don't ask me why. So here we can see we got one, two, three, four, five, six, which is really good. And then we have some more here. So technically we could say it's uh, seven, eight, nine, and 10, but because it's used in two different groups, it works really well. Six on one side and these four items here on the other side. So in my opinion, that works really well for the navigation. Okay, next, the quantity of content. So I really like this website because in my opinion, there's not too much content nor too little. It's a good balance. There's actually a lot more content that you may think by just scrolling here. It looks like it's really, really empty. But when you start going into the navigation, for example, you go into the recipes, there are many recipes and it's kind of detailed. And I like this because when you look at the navigation, it looks really simple. But once you start getting into it, you can really dig deep and you find the information you want and it's really, really fast. So in my opinion, it works really well. Okay, next let's talk about the quality. And in terms of quality, the pictures are beautiful. It also uses video. And I like the way you can just interact with the website. It's really well organized, but the quality of the text itself, images, videos, everything. And especially if we go back to the homepage, when you see that effect, I talked about it. It's like the Apple effect. It really sets the level for the rest of the website. So 
kudos to the creators, the content creators for this website because it works really well. Okay, next let's talk about the funnel, so the conversion. So we can see call to actions. We got learn more here about becoming a Monville shareholder. We got the pre-order call to action and the shop pellets call to action. So we got call to actions uh, all over the website, but in my opinion, and I talked about this previously, they don't really stand out. So for all these reasons, for the content topic, I'm going to give it four points out of five. Okay, next let's move on to the technical side of things, which can be broken down into speed, dynamism, interactions, and the use of trends. Okay, so for the speed of the website, of course, it depends on your internet connection, but for me, it works really well, so I get nothing to say. It worked well, even when I tried it on the mobile uh, over 4G connection, so nothing to say here. I think it's well optimized. Okay, next, dynamism, and I couldn't find a better term, but maybe you can help me in the comments. And what I mean by this is that if you have a very flat website where nothing happens, it may feel boring and flat. And on the other hand, if everything moves, you got too many moving parts, it can be annoying. So you want a good balance. And here I like it because it's really subtle. As you can see the text appearing here. And then if I start, you can continue scrolling. As you can see, when I reach here, those little things, I think it's really nice. Not too much, but not too little. Okay, next, interactions. Once again, this website is very consistent because the interactions are nice. You can see a balance between vertical and horizontal scrolling. And like I was showing here, this little thing, when you scroll, basically you decide if you want to make the title appear. Now, of course, it's not that important, but those small interactions make it so that the person viewing the website doesn't get bored and it can actually be quite funny. And what you want people to do is to stay on the website and then achieve the actions that you want them to achieve. Next, use of trends. So if you know any of the current trends, you can spot that it's using a lot of gigantic fonts or really big text. And this is really, really trendy at the moment. It uses asymmetrical design. And you know that usually I'm not a fan of this, but once again here, it's quite well executed. So I quite like what I'm seeing. And then here you can see we got some horizontal scrolling right after vertical scrolling. So this is also really trendy. Now, one thing I would have liked to see is something like this, not the scrolling effect here, but more, you know, the little dot here that you can see. And even when you hover over things, you know, it's inverted as you can see here. Now I created a tutorial on the channel if you want to achieve that with WordPress and Elementor Pro, if you're using WordPress, of course, but you can do the same thing with uh, vanilla code, uh, vanilla JavaScript. So. I think it's a nice trend that would really fit this website. So for all these reasons for technical, I'm going to give it a score of four points out of five. Okay, so at the time of reviewing the Montvale website, the mat adds up to a score of 15.5 out of 20, which is a very good grade in my opinion, knowing that I consider anything 14 and above a professional website that you can sell for a higher than average price. Okay, now let's talk about income potential. Now, a little disclaimer here. When we talk about income potential, of course, where you live really matters. Do you live in Switzerland or in Bangladesh and the United States of America or in Romania? But that being said, if you consider the visual identity, the clean minimal design, the use of custom high-end photography and videography, the quality of the content, and the fact that it's also a full-blown custom e-commerce website. Because yes, I forgot to mention this, but I don't want to make this video longer than it already is, but it's a full-blown e-commerce custom website. It looks absolutely gorgeous when you get to the product part of this website. So if you consider all of this, you could sell this website between 8K and 40K, depending on where you live. So here I'm talking in dollars or it could be Euro, depending on the conversion rate. And I know between 8K and 40K seems like a long stretch, but don't forget, some people would never be able to sell this website for more than 500 bucks, that with the same quality, of course, but they wouldn't be able to sell more than 500 bucks, while others would sell it for a minimum of 100K. So it really depends on your sales skills. And like we saw a moment ago, it also depends on your location because $5,000 isn't the same thing in Los Angeles and in Bangkok. That's the hard truth. But I'm just giving you an average income potential. Now, of course, whether you create this website in six weeks, three months, six months, or a year is also going to determine if it's profitable or not. But let's say 
say that this website did cost between 8K and 40K. Well, in that case, I'm pretty sure that the company is pretty happy about their website, especially if you stack it against the competition. Now, how would I build it? Well, it doesn't really matter if you outsource the development, hand code it yourself or use WordPress. Clients only care about end results and return on investment. Now, personally, I think I could build something similar with WordPress, Elementor Pro, affiliate link in the description, plus probably Jet Engine and WP Rockets, just to give you an idea of the main plugins I would be using. But of course, you could build this with Bricks, with Gutenberg or with the builder that you are most efficient with. At the end of the day, they are just tools. What matters is the end result. Okay, so today we reviewed a barbecue company's website, but which type of industry's website would you like me to review next? Please let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video and my work, please give it a thumbs up because it's really gonna help the channel and it doesn't cost you a dime. And if you want more web design goodness, consider subscribing and smashing the notification bell so that you don't miss anything. I hope that this video will help you become a better web designer and sell higher end websites. So I'll see you in the next one and don't forget, I'm trying to build the content I wish I had when I got started. So I'll see you in the next one. And until then, take care and stay safe. Cut.